Now for the Saturn with no hood. No hood for almost a year. It's been through a lot of weather. Okay, exposed to the elements, no hood since May. And it's one of these two keys. Okay, concrete head, this starts for you. Jamie of Ottawa, I mean. Oh, we got lucky. Now I gotta push the clutch. Ugh. Amazing if all doesn't get stuck without a hood. All set. Uh oh. Battery connection. Take two. Oh, perfect. Uh oh. Burning the alternator belt off. Yep. Oh well. She's a runner. But certainly not a looker. And now the car you can always depend on. Your Buick. Your beautiful Buick. Let's hope that spark plate didn't get corrosion and it starts. It's a 3.3. We'll just reach into the invisible windshield and see what's going to happen. I'm David Blaine, I'm going to the glass. Ta da! Yes! I must be David Blaine because that was magic. in the glass. Ugh, key needs oiled. Gotta love your Buicks, that's for sure. So Camry's next. I just determined that the fuel pump is working. There it is in the trunk. In my redneck gas can. Got the connections off over there and I tested it. Let's see what's gonna happen. I also checked the spark plugs and they were dry. What a way to start a sunny day. This has the awesome V6 2.5. I don't know which car is faster on the farm. The Turbo Volvo or this thing. We'll have to race when the crops come off this summer. Let's see if she's going to fire up. I know my other Toyota's going to fire up when it's all dried out tomorrow. All set. Come on, baby. Yes! Oh, the tack don't work. What happened? That sucks. Oh, come on. Remember, it's always good to redline your cars after sitting for six months. It shows you shows the car that you love it. And I do love my Toyotas. Cool. Can't go for a drive to get a flat tire. Oh well. Sweet. Well, now that the weather is much better, plus five degrees Celsius, I've been playing with my cock again. I mean my floppy cock. I've been fixing broken wires. And not those ones. And not playing with that thing either. The ones that were way the hell down there. Anyways, three little tiny ones were chewed off. So no big deal. Just that I couldn't get my hands underneath. There wasn't certainly much room to get in from the top, but I did it. A little bit battered and bruised. So let's see what's going to happen. My floppy cock might want to go play in some mud. 
and there is plenty of that. Ooh, such nice seats and such a beautiful vehicle. Sweet. Oh, yeah. This vehicle was once owned by a little old lady in Lucan. Oh, wow. Holy crap. You can depend on your Dodge, that's for sure. No mouse will put a Dodge to death. 3.3. of a noisy water pump, but who the hell cares? Wow, let's see if we can get moving. Boing, boing. Um, we lost brake pressure. The brakes are seized. Oh no, oh! Oops, I said no brake pressure. Poor Chevy. Yeah. The first vehicle to rise from the dead of the forest in this bleak Canadian <laughs> wasteland is my floppy cop. With no brakes. I guess it's telling me that. Cool. Feels good to rise from a winter's sleep. I mean there is no brakes. Reverse works for brakes. Well it's getting a little late in the day and I don't want to bother seeing what's wrong with the brakes. I want to get home in time to watch Simpsons and Family Guy and American Dad and all those great shows on Fox TV on Sunday night. A little snow back here. Uh oh, no brakes. 